Hello. All my friends, uh, this is Barry, and you're watching Barry in the PI. Yesterday, one of my subscribers, uh, Craig, uh, came to visit. Uh, Craig is from uh, Houston area. He's a fellow Texan, and uh, he's been here before, and uh, he's looking to settle here uh, when he does retire. He's, he's younger than I am. Of course, 90% of the world's population is younger than I am, 90%. <laughs> Makes me feel old. <laughs> So, uh, those I am old. All right, a um, couple of things I wanted to talk about today. Uh, oh, I want to say thanks for coming by, Craig, and glad to meet you, and uh, hope to see you again soon. You're always welcome here. Uh, anyway, I, I did a thing about Taiwan, uh, my last video. And there's a couple of other things that uh, I wanted to tell you about Taiwan. And uh, one I call betel nut beauties. All right, betel nut is a type of palm. It's grown around Southeast Asia, and, uh, but Taiwan's uh, put it to good use, I guess. Uh, it's a, you eat this green little pecan size nut that you put in your mouth and you chew on it, and it's a mild stimulant. And uh, lots of guys, older guys usually, uh, truck drivers and that and such, uh, frequently use this, this stuff, this nut. And uh, pep, the butter. I'm trying to make a video here. <laughs> she gets putting her muzzle under my arm. Pet me, pet me. And uh, so, uh, sorry about that interruption. Well, all around the rural areas, uh, particularly. It's, Outside of Taipei, uh, you'll see these kind of glass cases right along the roadside. And inside will be one or two or three young, very good looking ladies dressed very scantily, like they would in a strip show or something. And uh, guys pull up there and they'll buy their and flirt a little with the girls. I don't know, maybe make a little appointment later or something. But I used to see those things. What in the world is that? You know? And the friends would tell me that beetle nuts, they sell beetle nuts. And uh, all around. And I mean, they're good looking uh, ladies there. Uh, well, most of them don't speak any English, so if you're inclined to go buy some beetle nuts, from, uh, you'll need to know some Chinese. So, uh, but there was a famous uh, Taiwan direct movie director. He did a video, and I believe it won an Academy Award for Best fi Foreign Film called Beetle Nut Beauties, and uh, it explores their life as a beetle nut beauty girl. Uh, so that, that's a unique feature of Taiwan if you're ever going. So if you ever go down there and go outside of the Taipei area, it's banned in tai uh, Taipei. They won't let them sell that stuff. Uh, the, uh, Taiwanese government did a big study and found it's a big cause of chewing these are a big cause of oral cancer in people. So they keep pushing warnings now. That may have extended that, uh, that ban 
uh, throughout the country by now. Uh, I haven't kept up with the uh, latest stuff. But uh, that's what called Beetle Nut Beauties. Uh, if you can see that and find that movie somewhere, you, you ought to get it and watch it. It's pretty good. I think you can get an English uh, English vision, version of that movie too. Uh, so, also, hey, Somebody comes by, there they all are. Motorcycle drives up. Apollo! Apollo! Sorry about this. That's what happens when you got five dogs out here. And, uh, Apollo! Uh, These dogs don't bite, so if you're coming over here, don't worry about it. They'll, they'll run out to meet you and bark, and they want you to pet them and stuff, but uh, they don't bite. Uh, so uh, I also talked about recently about this um, religious, uh, I wouldn't call him a leader, but he's self-claimed uh, son of God uh, and he's been called up uh, uh, for a hearing in, in the Philippine Congress and he keeps refusing to go to show up and so now they are issuing uh, arrest warrants for him and he's going to come one way or another now, he does have some supporters in, in the Congress, uh, some senators uh, claim him as a good friend, and, uh, which means they probably voted, gave him a lot of money for campaign. Uh, so this guy is going to end up having to show up for Congress. Uh, one senator claimed that he was going to be he was a former uh, chief of the national police, and uh, he claims he will protect the, this guy. This guy claims he's going to be, thinks he's going to be a, a, something. Other. But uh, so they're going to have the hearing, hopefully sometime soon. You probably will be able to watch it on one of the Filipino channels, uh, and some of it will be in English and some in Tagalog. But uh, you can get the gist of, of uh, what they're doing and talking about. <coughs> uh, so they'll be interspersed with with uh, English comments too. Uh, so you should watch that if you're over here now, living here now. Uh, keep an eye out for the announcement of when they will hold that hearing. Uh, so I, that's mostly what I had to tell, uh, tell you. I uh, wanted to let you know some, uh, some, another good thing about Taiwan. <laughs> The beetle nut beauties. I used to pass by them all the time when I was walking. I'd smile at them, and they'd smile back too. Uh, and that's uh, they're, they're pretty good-looking ladies, and they'll be scantily, scantily clothed too. And uh, I've heard all kinds of stuff about them. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I had a couple of them that lived in an apartment behind my apartment, but I never met any of them really. And so, uh, as I said, Taiwan's a good place to go visit. Uh, if 
if you've got a friend, a local old friend there, it'll go along and help uh, translate things for you. That'd be good. There are a lot of people who do speak English, and uh, that's why they hired me to go teach their kids uh, English. Uh, and that's that's uh that's a good good business there and it's good pay for for teachers too it'll give you a chance to spend a year or so teaching abroad and and uh, not an english speaking country and uh the parents are very very friendly very nice so if you want to come over and teach in in uh, Asia, uh, Taiwan's a good place to go. And South Korea, Japan also are, uh, they demand a uh, big demand for English speaking teachers there. So, other than that, I enjoyed my visit with uh, Craig and I hope to see him again sometime soon. Uh, my angel trumpets are just about to bloom over here, the one wide one. They're uh, just budding out now. Uh, so I'll, I'll have some pictures of that. Uh, maybe tomorrow or next day they'll be blooming out. So uh, that's about all I had to say. It's uh, been a cloudy day. We got a little bit of rain yesterday. It at least wet the, the driveway here. <coughs> it didn't rain too long. Uh, still need to keep watering my plants. So uh, y'all take care. Take care of your family. Take care of your pets. And uh, adios amigos. And we'll see you again tomorrow. And hook them. Texas is going to be good this year. All right, can't wait. We'll see you. Y'all have a great day.